Oh my god, this is so epic. Yes. Oh man, flying about and exploring the world like this. I mean, look at Hogwarts, how different it is when you're high up top. This is so cool. Now, what if I go like really low? Close to the water. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hopefully no creature is going to catch me as I'm riding this broom. This is really epic. And of course, you can also speed up quite a bit if you want to. Alright, well, now that we're done with this side quest, let me go to the Hogwarts. Because apparently this is where I have more... Oh, not here, buddy. I wanted to go to Hogwarts. Which is on this side. And I don't see any more side quests, although I have a secret room here. The room of requirements and the map chamber. Ah, we're going to go there once I'm going to get me the map. Yeah, never mind. Okay, okay. In that case, let me go here and fast travel to this side. Because, of course, we need the uh, book, right, in order to finish up the quest. And what is it? Oh, am I just about to learn the ability to fly? Yes, Everybody please. Grab a broom and we shall get started. Oh, finally. Finally, we're going to be able to fly. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today <laughs> is to remind all of you... That mask is making me look like a villain. ...broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, <laughs> let's see how not well everyone kept it? up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. <laughs> you got it treated really well. What are you doing? All right, buddy. Raise it up, up. then. There we go. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Am I supposed to fly now, through these things? For your first lesson, Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Okay. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but... Oh, man, this feels so good to fly. We flew a little bit slow there, of well course, done. because we're still just now barely trying to learn to how to fly broom. with the broom, but... Let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise. Okay, we? maybe we can get a little bit of speed now. <laughs> oh man, this, this is epic. This set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, you can also toggle the speed. Ah, so if you want speed, you gotta do this. What? Oh man, this feels so good. I wonder if we can use... Mm, so this one is just toggling, apparently, the speed. I just wanted to say that I wonder if you can use the abilities while you're flying, but it doesn't look like you can. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Who's saying that? Alright, hold up. Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? <laughs> yeah, this is pretty epic, actually. The, the broom itself is realigning itself, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Here we go. This is pretty sick. Oh, 
Once I'm gonna get my own broom, I'm gonna explore the heck out of this place. What? Seriously? Man, the sounds are making. All right, hold up. We're good. We're good. Let's keep going through here. Huh, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, this is not that bad actually. We're learning. Yeah, what's up, buddy? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Hmm. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, yeah, I know. care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Am I just about to raise this fella? I like the sound of that. Won't we get in trouble? Uh, no. Let's just do it. Say no to that. I want to practice. What you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow <laughs> me. All right, buddy. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. This is Let's hope pretty neat. Look at that. Oh God. Tea by the window today. I hit my head. <laughs> Nice to get above it all, isn't it? It is. It sure is. All right, hold on, buddy. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Can I actually Here's change the speed? Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Ah, so if you want to lean forward, you just hit this. I get it now. now okay, oh god, like that is it. fast. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Hold up, buddy. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Oh, hold up. No, 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 no. Go back, go back. Where's this guy? There we go. I definitely cannot fly away for sure. I gotta keep up and uh, follow this fella. I wanted to explore a little bit, but I guess we're gonna have to do that on our own time. Next, let me make my way back because she whistled for us to come back. There we go. Dismount here. Ooh. How do you even do that? Uh, I guess that's how you dismount? No. Oh, zero. And where have you two been? <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for no. not following my instructions. Thank it. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. <laughs> That's fine. You, I guess he was kind of like my guide. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. I wonder how I'm gonna get my own broom though, because I really want to just fly Sorry whenever about I want. That business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. For sure. Uh, I have no regrets. <laughs> it was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I wonder how expensive it is. I do have 13,000 coins, so hopefully that is going to be enough. Oh, look at that. We finally got it. We finally got the uh, ability to fly now. 
So all I gotta do is just find myself a uh, room next. Now, let me check the map for a second here. Do I have any quests that I gotta do here? Uh, because I do have to get my hands on the book eventually, right? And it doesn't look like we have any quests. So what I'm gonna do instead... Uh, supporting needs... Spint witches. Yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna get myself the broom if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Let me just fast travel and see if I can get my hands on a broom. Does it get any more cold? Oh, Sebastian is calling. If you're keen for some illicit spell, Revelio. Meet me outside the defense against the dark arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Uh huh. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Um, we got another mail though. I require assistance with right, delivery Pippin. and thought you might be interested. Please visit huh. me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Okay, hold up. Let me make my Please way inside your me shop. In the floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. I have a feeling this is where you purchase uh, brooms by the looks of it because everybody's using brooms, so... Let me first of all have a quick chat with this fella. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Yep, he is the one that's gonna sell me the broom. Awesome. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Sure. It's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yes, U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Uh, okay, I'll have a look. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, disrupted trade routes made you close? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spent Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. <laughs> Alright, well, what else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Wind Wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. All right, uh, let's Sounds see what he's got the then. Array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank I think you. he said you weavers are the fastest ones what because everybody's to afraid to ride them. Um, let's see. They're not that expensive, actually. I was really expecting them to be really expensive. So these are the U Weavers. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. Okay. Ember Dash Broom. The perfect broom for those with a fire tem temperament. Uh, Hogwarts House Broom. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts House pride. Uh, moon Trimmer Broom. The finely crafted from Ash. This broom is built for stability. And this one, a stylish broom with a light touch. Quite literal. That item is of the highest quality. I see that they're all at the same price, though. Are they actually going to have the same speeds or not? Because it did, it did say that, that this one is, is really of fast. The highest quality. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. And this one is the perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. What does that mean? That item is of the highest quality. And the Wind Wisp Broom, a stylish broom with a light touch, quite literal. You know, let's grab this one. I kind of like this You'll one. It does have a light on it. Broom. I promise you. And of course, I could go ahead and buy me more if I want to. For example, that item this. Is the highest quality. Yeah, I got two brooms. I'm also going to grab this one because he said that it's going to be speedy. As for these ones, I don't need them. I have enough money. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Oh, so you can do enhancements ah, on them? Knew I was right about you. <laughs> I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. 
But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I hmm. believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? So I'm guessing what I gotta do is do some time trials with these brooms and then come back to him so that he can upgrade it. I get it. Um, how did your passion for brooms begin? Why am I the right person for this? Uh, let's go with when did your passion you begin? A passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing <laughs> flyers maneuver the way they do, oh... Some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I really ideas. hope Quidditch is going to be added as a future update in the game. Helping. I know I'm onto something. That All right, buddy. sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. All right, we'll do. Uh, so I guess this, time, this is done for now. Sure let me know. All right, uh, let me grab the chest while I'm right over here. There we go. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. And also while I'm over here, I'm also gonna go ahead and sell these things that I just found. <laughs> I know that these are his, but I'm just gonna get some extra coins. Business with you. There we go. Thanks for stopping by. I'm to about to again. become level 21 as well, which means I'm going to get myself a new outfit that I'm going to be able to wear. All right, let's see what the map is going to say. I don't know how to jump on my uh, brooms because I did buy myself a broom, but I really don't know how to activate it. And there is a side quest right over here I can actually activate. So let me make my way towards it. Revelio. All right, what do we got on this side, though? Because apparently well, this fella do you let wants to do some business with me. Any assistance at all. Actually, apparently I can be of any assistance. Bye or hello, Mr. Pippin. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's hmm. just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. <laughs> Alright, uh, happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. All right, perfect. So apparently I'm supposed to go and deliver a potion. Now, I wonder why this is an invisibility potion. Don't Aren't there spells? How is this one different, I wonder? Uh, we do have to go quite a long ways. Now, my question is... How do I jump on my broom? Because I would love to jump on my broom. Oh, you know what? That is how you jump on your broom. But for some reason, I cannot activate it here. Maybe I cannot activate it here because I am in the town. Maybe you got to get out of the town in order to be able to fly. Let's just see if that's a thing. So, what if I go through this side? Get out of town. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to fly. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> oh, look at that! You have entered the area that allows you to fly. Press L1, then 0 to equip the broom. Oh my god, this is so epic! Yes! Oh man, flying about and exploring the world like this. I mean, look at Hogwarts, how different it is when you're high up top. This is so cool. Alright, hold up, hold up. 
I want to make my way all the way at the bottom here. Because apparently there's another challenge that I got to do. So let me do this one really fast since we came to this side. Could it be a Merlin trial? It is, it is. Now, what about these frogs? Oh. I don't know what's up with those frogs. But let's see what the trial is going to do here. Because apparently the game wants me to do what? Climb up, maybe? Oh! Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it wants me to do. <laughs> that is funny. And done. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Not tricky at all. I cannot wait to complete every single one of these because I have a feeling I'm going to be getting something really awesome in return once I'm going to be done with Rebellion. all these challenges. Uh, this one seems to be locked, so I cannot access it. Ooh, but I do have quite a lot of stuff here that we can collect. There we go. Perfect. Rebellion. And of course, I'm going to be jumping back on this thing. This is so cool that I can do this. Now, what if I go like really low? Close to the water. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hopefully no creature is going to catch me as I'm riding this broom. This is really epic. And of course, you can also speed up quite a bit if you want to. Hey, fellas! I also want to make my way up here. Because I think there's going to be a side quest. It's like a place right of out of a storybook. Tough over here. What? Oh, this place is huge. There's so many things to do here. Look at that. I can never face Milo's daughter oh, I love again. it. All right, buddy. Before I'm gonna activate this uh, ch this area, of course, let me do you this. So this one's called a Runshire. Hmm. What about this? I think I may be able to fix that. So let me grab Repero. No, Repero. Seriously? Repero. I think I may need like bombs, you know, to get rid of these ones. Yeah, uh, which unfortunately we do not have. Rebellion. Okay, hold up. I gotta become invisible here because that is definitely a chest that's gonna spot me if I move. Is it? Nope. It's just a big chest. Unidentified neck item. What? Unidentified? What does that Rebellion. even mean? Oh my lord. What, am I doing? what are these? Cages. The spider parts. It seems someone has been collecting um, acromantula parts for profit. Lucrative perhaps if one is willing to risk one's life to obtain the required inventory. Interesting. Let's see what this guy uh, is going to say here. Is there something because apparently he does have a side quest for Mr. me. Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I had known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, uh, Milo's name for the Acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch uh, so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... Uh, I fled. 
think I may be able to go back in there and grab his thing. Uh, why chase after acromantula venom? Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is, as Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. Hmm. I may be able to if help. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, <laughs> forget I said anything. Well, you now, now you know now that I'm going to have to go and do it. <laughs> uh, now, who's the one that's going to sell now, me stuff? Where could that acromantula cave be? Oh, it's 1,000 meters away, so that's going to be pretty far away. Now, hold up. If I'm going to go and look for that acromantula, which I'm not going to do just yet. I'm going to focus on the other mission that we had. Uh, these guys are going to have to be sold. I'm going to need a better hat. Oh, wait. This is where that scarf is probably going to go, right? These ones. But at the moment, this is actually the one that I got activated. And it's a legendary. What does it do? Apparently, I cannot put it on, though, for some reason. Why? Take this to the room of requirements to reveal its qualities. Ooh, yes. I'm definitely not going to sell or anything or destroy it even. I'm definitely going to want to hold on to it. Uh, and this is where you can actually upgrade your broom and also switch between the brooms. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep on going with this one for sure. Right, well, we activated, of course, the side quest. I'm not going to go ahead and do it just yet. Uh, I'm going to keep on focusing on the other side quest that we had already active. It is nighttime, but we're good. Let's keep it going. Because we have the ability to fly like this, I don't even care. Hmm. Something activated right here somewhere. Revelio. I can also use the Revelio while you're flying. Not bad. All right. What I cannot use is shoot my wand as I'm flying, unfortunately. That would have been great. Someone two enemies simultaneously. Wait, what? Someone two enemies simultaneously. What does that mean? I don't know if you can actually hide yourself, but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go with this and send you here. Where are you running, buddy? There we go. Hang on too soon. Oh. All right, let's jump back in this and keep her going. Now, let me just sprint 1,000 meters away. This room is really awesome. I love it that it has that light in front. Man, but this place is gigantic. Are you kidding me? Just imagine having to walk on every single one of these uh, streets. And also, apparently there is a butterfly out here. That's apparently going to take us to a chest or, yeah, some sort of a secret chest somewhere. Let's see what it's going to take me to. I love that I can also follow it with the broom. So you don't have to go down if you want to uh, collect whatever it's going to give you. It's pretty sick how you're actually exploring the world like this. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see what we got. Awesome. Niffler statue. All right, 600 meters to go. I already see another challenge over here they're going to be able to um, who lives here. do. All right, we got to Cambridge. Rebellion. Uh, ginger roots. Huh. Can I grab them though? But I finally got to level 21. Which means I can finally go into my gear here and activate the outfit that I just could activate before, which is this one. Is it? Or maybe it's something else? 
Uh, I'm going to take off the robes because I want to put on different ones. Or at least visual. Oh, this is the one that I could have put on. Yeah. So we're now going to be up to 173 offense. Oh, this robe is awesome. Yep. Definitely going to stick with this brand new one for sure. All right. Let's keep it going. Oh, yeah. This robe looks really good. Uh, at the same time, I just want to activate this just because I'm curious... What type of a challenge am I supposed to do here? And if I can do it. As we're exploring further locations, I might need to learn new abilities. Now the question Rebellion. is, what is this activating? Because I don't see anything activating right here. I got no clue what challenge this is. What? Oh, it's probably this ball. That Pippin should have been here by now. Akio. Yeah, never mind. I cannot do anything about oh, it. I think what I'm gonna have to do is push it through here. And I definitely cannot do that yet. Okay, never mind. Let's have a chat with her then. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? <laughs> Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro then for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. <laughs> probably. Uh, here are the potions. Why did you buy them then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. I keep hey, finding myself chatting with uh, all you these so quest simple? givers during the night time. I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink Seriously? It. What? Uh, sure. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. <laughs> Alright, so I just got drink an invisible potion. Uh, I'm guessing this one? Yep, this is definitely the one. Uh, X, equip, and drink. Whoa. Oh, it didn't work. Wait. Did it work? I think I drank the wrong potion. <laughs> this is the invisible one. Thank it. All right, I'm invisible. It seems to have worked. Hmm, well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. All right. Uh, can you tell me about your customers? You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Ashwinder. Hmm. Very well. <sighs> very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Uh, may I see your wares? Yeah, let's see what she's like got sale? for sale. And at the same time, maybe what I can also sell some stuff that I today? have. So if I want to sell, I'm definitely going to sell this. This will do just fine. And Thank the outfit you. as well, because I already have a bit of one on. Thank um, you for stopping in. I appreciate Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? Let me see what, what she's got. For sale? What are we looking for And today? if I want to buy something, apparently you can also buy... Oh, you know what? I think I can buy some of A these. Fine choice. Kind of expensive. Exactly 100 coins, seriously? It's kind of expensive. Leech juice. I think I have kind of everything. Yeah, that she's selling. So I'm not going to buy anything from her. Thank anymore. you for stopping in. I appreciate it. All right, next Rebellion. up I got to return to Pippin, of course, uh, to get my reward. At the same time... Ooh. Uh, hold up, I'm in the waters. 
There we go, buddy. I did not want to deactivate it, though. Hold up. I want to explore here a little bit of what we added. Including, of course... Checking this out. The beehives. Rebellion. I think I'm supposed to get inside here to collect this. Yep. A teal blue wand. Or more like wand handle. So many things hiding on the east side. Look at that. Including, of course, a brand new house that I'm not able to go in since I do not have the ability to uh, open up locks. Alright then, let's go back. Now that we can fly, I'm kind of encouraged a little bit more not to fast travel. Just simply Let's explore by simply flying. Time, uh, hold up. Apparently, I'm going to have to do something with these, I think. And I think I know exactly what to do with this one. It's probably not going to be that difficult. So, let's activate it. Hopefully, we have enough leaves to keep on doing this. Lumos. All right, let's see. There has to be some butterflies right here. Nope. There we go. Is that gonna go on this side? Revelio. Okay, I see a few more. These fellas. Lumos. Coming with me. Right over here. There we go. And these fellas under the bridge... ...are gonna come with me on this side. Actually, hold up. I think I gotta take... Um, uh, ...this way, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hold up, buddy. Lumos. Perfect. And right over here. Not so they got it. After all, Marlin. Oh, so of course there's going to be 10 different challenges we're going to have to do in this brand new area that we just unlocked here. Oh, man, how many areas are there even in this game? I definitely have to explore the map uh, a little bit more to try to learn it. Because there's so many things we got to do. All right, let's keep going. Oh, wait, what? How did I do that? What? This is such an awesome way to fast travel. Huh. But what I want to do actually is jump into my broom. And keep her going. I'm always going to keep on getting distracted, of course. Every single time I find one of these. And there's a lot of them since the gate, the uh, the world is so massive. Uh, while we're at it, let me actually activate this one at least. Just like that. Wait, where is it? Hello? Is it inside the house? It might be. Huh. Central Hogwarts Valley. Revelio. Not sure what this this is, but uh. At least I got myself a few coins. And of course, a uh, fast travel location, which these are actually pretty good to have, to be honest. And collect this. Another unidentified item. Seriously? What? Hmm. Oh man, but this is so beautiful though. The way you can actually explore in these things. Love it. Now, hold up. Are there multiple balloons here? What's it going to happen if I just fly through these balloons? Through all of them. Oh, I missed. Hold up. I want to try to get all of them. All right. And... Nope. Take it. There 
Am I getting anything if I get him? Let's see. You are! Papa Loons, challenge unlocked. Huh. Okay, I guess that's good to know. Because I'm gonna be getting some XP if I do it. Alright, of course, it's gonna be another challenge over here. And this one is about shooting these balloons as well. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Of course, buddy. Of course, we're going to try. Oh, never mind. We cannot do it anymore because we are out of uh, Malo Sweets. Hmm. They're going to have to craft me some of these for sure. Whenever I have the chance, I'm definitely going to try to do it. Here I come. Rebellion. Uh, wait. I think there was here that I something that I should have discovered, right? Where is he up top? Yeah, I think it's up top here. And that is a hidden chest. So, let me land. Let me first of all uh, get this one, activate it. Let me get this just unlocked. There we go. And Rebellion. There we go. What is that? Chocolate frogs. Yeah, we just made our way to Hogsmeade, actually. This is just another part of Hogsmeade that I did not visit before. I saw what you did. Ha! No this potion is lasting Hand so long. Back. Hand what back, sir? We've what not the? took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. <laughs> uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many <laughs> times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. Could these guys just steal from the shop, seriously? You just wow. wait till I see your mother. <laughs> that was a bit harsh. Uh, you guys gotta pay attention. What are you doing? You just got caught. All right, I'm back, buddy. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Uh, first of all, let me buy for you a more like sell this and this as well. And now let me go into buy. Now, what is this? Focus potion recipe, uh, thunder brew recipe, and Maxima. Let's grab Maxima. Oh, I'm gonna grab this one, decision. although it's expensive. These are recipes, and I want to know how to craft me everything that I need. Uh, and if I want to buy health, it's pretty expensive, so I'm not gonna even try. Stench of the dead. Ooh. Let me just grab a few of them. Not sure if I need them, but a wise decision. I have enough Thank money you. though, so I should start spending on some uh, things right here. Also, let me get some troll bo boogies, as I don't have any of these. Why not? Uh, and this is tongues. I think I have some of these. Hey, I'm not gonna decision. even spend any more Thank money you. on that. All right, hold up, buddy. I gotta finish the mission for you. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? <laughs> uh, it... Mm, she's certainly difficult. Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly <laughs> appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. All right. I'd like an additional free. Uh, no. Let's just say thank it you. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. All right, we're done. Awesome. A demanding delivery. Uh, we bought quite a bit of stuff out of it. Look at that. And we got a Pioneer's Cap unlocked, complete side quests. We have 7 out of 10. So I need to do 3 more side quests in order to kind of be done with um, most of them. Let me check the map real fast. So, if I go into the map, apparently we do have some more side quests in Hogwarts. And I wonder where. Because this is just a main quest. What if I go into... Yeah, I don't think I have any more side quests by the looks of it. And I do have to go ahead uh, and learn some more 
abilities. In the shadow of the uncroft, Miss Sebastian rewards Confringo. You know what? I think this is gonna give me uh, a new ability. So let me travel here. We are just about to learn some more spells and I most definitely wanna do that. All right, and while we're at it, let me also spend one of these talents because apparently I do have more talent points that I can spend. And for this one, I'm gonna go with Catch and Throw Disarm Enemy Weapons. What about this one? Basic cast impact and reduce spell cooldown. Uh, sure. There we go. That's been spent. Well spent. And let me make my way towards the next mission. Alright, let's see what it's all about. Oh, Can you really make nighttime again? What's up, buddy? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad <laughs> you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I think there's a little critter this way. right here. Revelio. Oh yes, this and this critter is probably going to take me to that table. Here. It's well disguised. Yeah, hold up, hold up. I really want to follow this thing and see what it's going to take me to. Oh, it's taking me upstairs. No. Yeah, it's probably taking me to that bookcase that I'm not going to be able to unlock right now, to be honest, unfortunately. So, let's see what the secret passage is all about. Oh, ah, this thing. I remember seeing this before. On the croft. Let's check it out. How do you even open it? That is sweet. Look at that. Wait, he's not coming with us? <laughs> Did I just go on my own? How did you find this place? My friend, nah, he's here. Ominous there we go. Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Uh, let me activate these things and I'm gonna have to, to play use them here eventually. All the time. Rebellion with my sister. Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. <laughs> I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. He's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Hmm. Now, what is this place, though? I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Hmm, that's ridiculous. It sounds dangerous. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He <laughs> frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. 
but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Awesome. So I think we're just about to learn a new spell. It may which is take great. a while to get the feel for it. Mimic right. my wand movement. The incantation is Confrengo. Very well. Hmm. So we got triangle. Uh, actually, X triangle X six. Okay. X triangle. We got X X and of course square. I think this may be the one that I needed in order to move those big boulders. You're Maybe. It. Ready to actually try it out? Yep. Let me activate it over here. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the undercroft intact. <laughs> have a go at those candelabras. Both All right. Good for you. Nice work. I have to be throwing the fire a little it's bit further. Hot. That's what it does. You'll get used to it. That's it. It's really good. I think I got it. Well done. Awesome. All right. Love it. I have to say. I enjoyed that. The first time sure did as well. I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I saw we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. I'm ready for more spells like this. Yeah, let's go with that. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although... I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Huh. Yeah, I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new That's student fine. will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. <laughs> Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not ready to tell you everything. Uh, sure, you let's tell the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. Very well. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> what does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. All right, buddy. I'm not going to tell anyone about it. As when long as you don't tell crop, anybody I'll about what I told you. All right. That is great. Uh, let's uh, get out of here now. And let me try to solve that puzzle uh, with the flying creature. There we go. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Oh, I'm not Sebastian. You there? I can hear you. Oh. Hello. Oh, this is the guy that cannot see. Isn't it? It's the blind one. Yes. I believe Ominous. You have potions together. And herbology. I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? <laughs> Oh, God, how am I supposed to do this? I, I think I'm going to go with I 
stumbled upon that it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. Ah. <laughs> no one stumbled I thought it was gonna upon wait. that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe <laughs> a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I promise not say anything. No need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Yeah, let's go with that. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Oh, so I just meant... <laughs> I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. All right, buddy. All right. Sebastian is Jeez. going to get an earful about this. Now, let me make my way upstairs because I think that bird actually flew over this side. Traveled. And we can now unlock this one. Awesome. Not bird. This is more like a uh, creature flying about. Like an insect. Oh, there we go. We got it. Perfect. I did have to make my way back to my base. Of, I guess we could call it. And uh, deposit all these things that we collected. All right. Let us see what the map is saying next. At the same time. I want to go into my gear again. I think I kind of want to remove this mask from my face. It kind of makes me look like a villain. I, I don't like it. I think I kind of like this though. Yeah, this handle looks really good. Uh, as I was saying, let me jump into here. I still have to figure out what this is though. Hopefully that's going to happen soon. Uh, so as I was saying, let me put this mask on. At least I can see a little bit more of my eyes, and maybe I don't look that mean, that like a villain anymore. All right, and next up, our destination is gonna take us to uh here. Should be pretty close, but I'm also gonna fast travel. I'm pretty sure I need. I'm supposed to look for well, Professor Fig for that book. Loves me. I'm his best friend. I would think. Uh, yeah, I gotta go up here. And I think I gotta go to the right side over on this side. There we go. Professor Weasley? Oh, never mind. I'm trying to interact with Professor Weasley this time. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Man, seriously? How did this just activate? Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. <laughs> well done. Shall we? All right. You, Professor. We shall. I don't know if I had any more side quests, although I don't think I've seen any more side quests. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, huh. a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in Rebellion. my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. <laughs> hmm. Wait, can we not remove it? This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. 
Well, I guess we're just about to learn another spell. Uh, let's go with X, triangle, X, square, and triangle. There we go. Splendid. Now, card. Hold up. Uh, let me activate Evanesco here, I guess. Go on those chairs. And Evanesco. Excellent work. Whoa. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss huh. its uses later. Let's move on. That is strange. So because I, I made those things Merlin's appear, I got Moonstone? Revelio. What is that? Hold is up. That... I just found a note. Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. All right, let me go exploring then and see what we can find in this place. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep <laughs> it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Oh my god, these paintings. Coming alive and everything. All right, let's remove that. Oh, so you are getting Moonstone Revenue. every single time you're using this. Or maybe I'm actually using Moonstone in order to use this magic. Ah. Pull this one over. Can I squeeze through there? No, I think what I got to do here is actually push this one and climb on top of it. Yep, there we go. A stylish club. So I had eight. If I use it now... Oh, it's still eight. So never mind, I'm not using them. Hmm. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Rebellion. Wait, I'm not an intruder. Hold up. No, not so. That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, I think I'm getting Moonstone every single time I'm using this. That's what's happening. A uh, bit offended the room, though. I need a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Revelio. Alright, let's keep it going. Whoa, look at these lights. What? How do I even climb up there to grab that coin? How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Well, I guess we're just about to meet the house elf then. Yeah, there have definitely been a few more things on this side, uh, but uh, for some reason I could not collect them. Because I'm not sure how to get to them. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't think I can get there. Alright, let's carry on then. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Was it? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I can... No, how do I get rid of these? Hmm. Here we go, buddy. Move out of the way a little bit so I can cross. Revelio. I feel like I gotta climb up higher, or maybe I can squeeze through here and move that one out of the way. Um. I mean, what does that even do? Revelio. Kind of looks like there's some sort of a wisp out here. And now. Uh, pull down one, for example. <laughs> awesome. Why can I not open up the chest? Yes, I can. There we go. Perfect. Revelio. I 
hope that house elf can find us in here. It is the house elf. Look at that. Yikes! <laughs> Careful! Huh? Yeah, oh, this is deep. there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. So much better. <laughs> You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Love it. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which uh, one is I get it. And guess what? We do have two of them. You have a lot of the desk of the description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any identified gear. And we do have two of them that we found. I guess I can actually put them here and identify them. Oh, man, this table looks amazing. Look at it. What? You'll huh. find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Hmm. So apparently, uh, the Clothing that I just found aren't really anything spe special. Of course, one of them is epic, which is this one. Oh, it's reducing quite a bit of my offense. Only four, but it's allowing me to apply ancient magic focus one. Increased magic meter will rate. So apparently I can actually put something on it. Interesting. Although I'm removing this, although I'm putting something on it. So that's not bad. Uh, the rest of them I can easily just sell because they're not going to give me any extra stuff. But this, this one is actually pretty special. And it also looks pretty nice as well, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of like the look. Um, and also we got a scarf, but it's a lower level one, so I do not need it. Oh, but this one is much better. Look at that. And also Herbology one. Not bad. Um, let me remove it though. All right, and I think we're good to go. Not sure exactly how this place is going to work, but it kind of looks like we can interact with everything around here. Huh. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, 
I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, so I'm guessing this one is another brand new spell that's gonna allow me to create stuff and spawn them into uh, our brand new room that we just created. There we go. Conjuring completed. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. All right, so apparently uh, I can actually select the conjuring recipe here. And... Ah, uh, uh, so that's how you select it. So we need this for potion for brewing. Herbology, these are all the ones that we got. And of course, a lot of collectibles I've found. Let's go with potions. Small potion station, small botanical, small uh, eclectic potion station, and small gothic potion, potion station. Seriously? I don't know what's the difference, so I guess I'm going to go with the gothic one. Whoa. Can I? Oh, you can also switch between them if you don't like it. Potion station budget. Small scientific potion station. Small botanic. Small eclectic and small gothic. Uh, sure, let's go with the gothic look, whatever. Let's place it in here for now. And of course, we're spending stuff when we're doing these ones, right? We're spending moonstone. We have 203, so we have enough. Uh, let's go back. I also, that, I also noticed that we can also... Uh, undo stuff that maybe you didn't want to place. And for this one, we got a conjure botanical potting table with a small pot. Yeah, they're all small pots, apparently. I think I'm going to go with a gothic look, so we're going to have only gothic ones. Well done. There you go. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. We have a utility, but this utility is exactly like the other one, so I do not need it. Uh, what else? Ah, uh, and these things are, of course, uh, just to beautify the place. I get it. We got gargoyles and stuff. Uh, what else we got here? This is furniture. I'm not gonna go into uh deep with this one just yet. And of course, a lot of these things as well. What are these? The fracture stands. <laughs> the dragon sculpture stands. Ernstand and Quidditch. Let's go with the frogs. You can also change the colors. What? Oh, man. The building mode in this game is insane. I was not expecting anything like this. I knew it had this, but this is so detailed. Okay, and of course, you can also put on some pictures on the walls if you want to. Just like that. Oh, flat surface. I mean, isn't that a flat surface? Look at Deke. Looking at us. Doing our thing. And of course, this one's gonna go like that. Okay. Uh, if I go for the bust, we also have quite a few busts here that we can place. Actually, more like statues. I'm just randomly placing these ones right now as I'm trying to learn how this works. Of course, I'm going to try to beautify this place and make it look even better. 
Decoy here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I shall not. Uh, I'd like to know more about Deke, though. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. <laughs> but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I shall. Thank you guys for letting me Can use I this, use though. this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce ah. that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. All right, thank you. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Hmm. I mean, is she actually going to teach me another transfiguration spell? But well, we finally got the room of requirements. And a lot of XP. And of course, the flint is going to allow me to now fast travel. And it seems like she also has a side quest for me. That I may be able to use. At the same time, we can now craft potions. Uh, using this. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned okay, from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. It has actually been very, very fruitful, and I do need the book from him now. Um, since uh, I need to put the pages back on that we found. Now, hold up. I wanted to make a potion here that's going to last quite a long time, just so I leave it to do its thing. Uh, for example, this one is taking how much? One minute, one minute, 30 seconds. I was hoping I could find something that takes longer. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be oh, Wingardium Leviosa, yes. For a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Alright, let me plant this one then. It is going to take 10 minutes, so this one's going to have to grow on its own. Oh, man, we're going to have to do a lot of work here and place a lot of these structures as well uh, to be able to craft multiple things. Now, is she going to teach me another spell? I think she will, yeah. And it doesn't like we can chat with this fellow with Deke, though, to learn more things. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to speak with Professor Wesley here in order to uh, learn more spells, but oh, man... Building at this game, not only that it works really smoothly, but I cannot wait to actually make this room look uh, as I want it to look. But anyway, guys, that being said, I think it's going to be the end of this episode of uh, Hogwarts Legacy. And when we come back the next one, I think I'm going to try to focus a little bit here on trying to fill up this room with a lot of these uh, structures so I can start making more potions. And for example, I can actually go ahead and collect this one. Yep, so we can start making more potions and grow more ingredients. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everybody.